Hello, my sunshiny souls. Welcome. I am Carly, and today's reading is for fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for July 16th through the 31st, 2024. Welcome back, subscribers, and welcome if you are new. We are building to the full moon, which will be in Capricorn on the 21st. This is the second full moon in Capricorn in a row, so huge culmination and endings for all of us. So just going to get you an overall energy here. Also, uh, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist, whoops, and I specialize in distance energy, healing, and therapy, so it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. Uh, the link below, oh my goodness, I can't get that one. <laughs> the link below um, has a 15% discount for you, so all right, let's get you an overall energy. There was too many that came out. Okay. Ooh, I like this one. You've got the eagle spirit. Spirit has your back. Fire signs. This is a reminder that, oh my goodness, you are not alone and you do not have to do all things alone or handle everything on your own. Spirit is always looking out for you and always has your back. And if you forget this sometimes, this is a reminder to just take a breath and to look up. Look up at the sky. Look at how big and grand the universe is and remember like you are not alone, okay? Spirit has your back. And I'm also hearing that this can be a good message for a specific situation in your life where you kind of rise up above and you get a bird's eye view, um, an eagle's eye view on that situation. And that is gonna help you um, kind of pull you out of maybe the little details that you're very focused on, okay? And those little details might be distracting you uh, from the grander view and perspective of a specific situation. Okay, so that message is very important for some of you. All right, let's get the other energies out here. Okay, that was quick. <laughs> the second row, please. Three more. Okay, beautiful. Cards are out. First up, fire signs. We are starting with seven of pentacles, the wheel of fortune, and the knight of swords. Interesting. So, okay, I really love these two cards because something that you have been waiting on or working towards uh, with the seven of pentacles, this is a card of patience and waiting. Like you've already put in the work, you've already planted the seed, you've already kind of done what needs to be done. And now there's an energy of patiently waiting. Whatever you've been waiting for, fire signs, it is about to move and take action, okay? The wheel of fortune is fate, divine timing, things moving in your favor, um, karmic cycles ending, like the energy is moving forward and in an expansive way. I also interpret this card as the wheel of the, or the clock of the universe. So everything is perfectly on time for you when this card shows up. It is the clock of the universe. So you may have been thinking, oh my gosh, this is never going to happen. Or when is this going to happen? And the universe is saying, not until I say so, which is so frustrating sometimes. But um, the wheel of fortune is definitely helping to move things forward for you, fire signs, okay? So really beautiful energy there. With that movement forward, it may trigger, um, I'm feeling that this knight of swords is not your energy, okay? So this is going to be somebody that you are dealing with. So when things start to move from whatever it is you've been working on or the seeds that you've been planting, it's going to trigger somebody around you, okay? So be mindful of that. Um, someone around you might be a little bit angry or frustrated or jealous or envious of you and they may come at you with some words okay or they might pick a fight or like pick little bickering arguments and you're thinking this is out of character what is going on there's gonna it's something deeper okay they're being triggered at a deeper level um yeah things are moving for you in your life and it just is reminding them that things are not in their life okay so they're kind of like projecting that onto you as an example um, okay, we've got Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. We've also got um, air, Li uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. All right, I love this second row for you. We've got the world card. We've got King of Wands and Ten of Wands. 
What I am noticing immediately is this King of Wands energy is leaving behind the Ten of Wands energy, okay? Um, the back is turned and he's moving towards a completion, a cycle completing of whatever has been huge burdens and overwhelm uh, in his life, okay? So the Ten of Wands energy is a, is a card of overwhelm. It's being buried in burdens, taking on way more than you can handle. I mean, look at this character. And a, a separate message of this card is this character is trying to handle everything on their own, okay? If they would lift their head or put down these wands or carry them differently or ask somebody for help, the energy would be very different on this card. So this king, this king of wands energy, um, which could be you, okay? This could be you. You may be coming out of this karmic cycle of doing things this way overwhelming and taking on what's not yours and you're leaving that behind so i'm hearing that this king of wands energy is really taking back their power you're taking back your power fire signs which is so beautiful and you're letting that cycle come complete uh, you're letting that wholeness come in here with the world card wheel of fortune and the world card both can sim uh, signify like wholeness and completeness okay they both have full circles on them, okay? So something is like fully coming around and, and finalizing. So with that Capricorn full moon, it is also just validating the culmination there for this. Um, but fire signs, if this is not you, this can be somebody that you are dealing with. If you've been dealing with, you know, a boss, a family member, a romantic partner that just doesn't have the time or they're too overwhelmed or they're always just buried in something, that is shifting and they're going to be able to free up their time and their focus to you and to what is important. So um, big changes. I mean, that is a huge change to go from 10 of wands to look, this king of wands has one, one wand. They know the focus, they know what action they want to take, and they know where they want that fiery energy to go. So it is being channeled towards something positive, which is very exciting. So, um, you could be dealing with another fire sign. So it could be another Leo, another Sagittarius, or another Aries. We do have some earth energy out here, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. And then we also have um, some air, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. All right, let me get you another message here. All right, you've got listening. So fire signs, it's really important for you to quiet the mind and to listen. Listen to that inner wisdom. Listen to that inner um, guidance. You're going to know exactly what, what to do with this. But that project, whatever that is that's moving forward and coming in for you, listen to the inner guidance of what the next steps are. And then spirit has your back. So remember to rise up and get the grand view perspective. If this is you, wrapping up this cycle or somebody that you are dealing with you know get the bigger picture you may need to have some forgiveness for when this king or when you were in this ten of wands position okay so it's listening to what the gut is saying in regards to all of this i really like that message for you all right let's get you a spirit animal message and then we will wrap up All right, you've got the goose. Inner knowing, which is what I was just talking about. That's so funny. Trusting the gut, trusting the inner knowing. You are a brave traveler. Your soul knows the way. Be confident you will achieve your destination. Loyal friends are always with you. Don't worry, you are blessed. Let yourself fly. Ooh, I love this message for you, but my favorite part is your soul knows the way, okay? Through these changes, through these cycles completing and this transformation that you are going through, you're being guided. So remember, spirit has your back. Your ego doesn't have to understand. Your mind doesn't have to understand or make sense of it. You just have to give yourself permission to trust to let the mind take the back seat once in a while and to know that spirit has your back and your soul knows the way, okay? So all is well, fire signs. I really love these messages for you. Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. 
I hope this resonates. I think I'm going to end on that message. I hope this resonates. And thank you for the likes and the subscribes. They do help the channel. Leave me a comment down below. I love replying um, to your comments. And I do read all of them. So thank you for that. If you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. Does not matter where you live or how far apart we are. Uh, the link down below has all the information as well as a 15% discount for you. So you can take advantage if you feel called to do so. Otherwise, fire signs, I am sending you all my love. I'm wishing you a beautiful finish to July and that full moon on the 21st in Capricorn. And I will see you guys back here for the first half of August readings. Take care.